What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the SAT from the Scalar Learning Channel. Today we are talking about a recent item of news that was announced yesterday which was May 20th 2020. According to the New York Times the University of California schools has voted to stop using the ACT and SAT as admissions criteria. This decision impacts 10 schools and these are 10 schools that are highly coveted very popular so people believe that this will impact other colleges and universities around the country. The rationale for this decision is tied to the fact that folks have alleged that these tests are biased against those with lower socioeconomic status as well as other minorities. So what does this vote mean in terms of the near future? Well, this year the tests will still be taken and looked at, but they are optional. This phase where scores are optional will now extend for another year. After that, there will be two years where the scores will not impact in-state applicants who are applying to University of California. By 2025, according to this vote, the test will not be used as criteria whatsoever. So what does this mean for you as a high school student right now? Not too much. If you are applying to other prestigious colleges and universities, the honest truth is you're still probably going to take the ACT or SAT this year because you want to apply to a number of different schools. Now, if you are only applying to public schools within California, okay, maybe it gives you something to think about. But in the short term, I don't think this change will significantly impact any students. Now, going forward, what will the University of California do? They claim that they will probably create some sort of admissions test that will be used to admit students applying to University of California schools. This is the part that I don't understand so much. It doesn't quite make sense to me that you're going to eliminate a standardized test and then try to create your own. So now students have to take a standardized test to apply to University of California schools. They have to take a test to apply to New York schools. Not only does that not seem reasonable, it seems like it will create an extra burden on students. Moreover, the cost of creating these exams and then proctoring them, monitoring them, making sure they're checking for all the little ins and outs, it just doesn't seem to make sense to me. What seems a more reasonable solution would be to take the complaints and take the issues that folks are having with the SAT and the ACT and perhaps try to remodel it to reduce some of these supposed biases. Now just one final note, this decision to eliminate the ACT and SAT as admissions criteria comes counter to the recommendation of a faculty task force. The task force found that standardized test scores were better predictors of success in college than were grades and or other criteria. Moreover, they found that these tests actually gave a leg up to minorities and low income students. So a lot of interesting things have happened, a lot of interesting rationales on both sides. I don't know the answer and I don't pretend to know the answer. But again, my main message to you who are students who are prepping for this test in the short term, I don't think this changes the equation that much for you. So again, I say stay on task, keep studying, keep preparing, do your absolute best so you can create the best possible outcome for yourself in this whole process. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button. And if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.